friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very hard cataract you can see that the cataract appears almost black and there is hardly any red glow nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 5 plus the people is mid dilated and if this much dilatation remains throughout surgery I should not have any problem during the procedure. By this time the main incision and two side ports have been made. Now I am going to stain the anterior capsule of this very hard cataract underneath this air bubble. Tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule and the dye is washed out. Before that this is a bit of adrenaline because the people is not fully dilated and this adrenaline may help in keeping the people dilated. So now the dye is washed out completely. The adrenaline has flushed out some of the tripan blue and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber in this particular eye is shallow. The cataract is hard. You can say rock hard. So if the cataract is hard and the anterior chamber is shallow then it is a double challenge. You have to manage the hard nucleus and you have to protect the cornea. I am doing a large rexus. In hard cataracts my aim is always a large rexus and in this case the rexus has been almost 6 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done at multiple points. You must be very careful, very gentle in injecting fluid. Most of the time we can't see the fluid wave in such dense hard brown cataracts. So just a small amount of fluid is injected and the nucleus is mobilized. Attempts are made to make the nucleus free from its capsule. Now some more visco is injected and now this is some more hydro at 6 o'clock. The nucleus is not completely free yet and now it is free. And now again 2% HPMC is injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the tip of the phaco needle and in hard cataracts the exposed part of the phaco needle should be a little more this is for routine cases in this case I have exposed the tip a little more for chopping only and now the tip of the phaco needle is introduced with its bevel down towards the lens mass. Some superficial cortical lens matter is aspirated so that we can judge the its depth, how deep it goes into the nucleus and I'm going to do submarine chop in this case. The handpiece has been rotated, the bevel is, is up now towards the cornea and now the nucleus is pushed little down and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus and see it is going completely through the nucleus and here it is it is chopped and I go at a deeper plane and try to separate. 
Now I rotate it 180 degree, sculpt little bit and now I try to separate the two heminuclei along the crack that has occurred. Now here it is. It is divided completely into two heminuclei. And now in this case, since the cataract is nucleus is very hard, I'm going to chop each heminucleus into three fragments. This is one and now the bigger piece is again divided into two pieces. So this heminucleus has been divided into three fragments. Now I come to the other heminucleus. Again in the same way I divide this heminucleus into three pieces. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the nucleus is held very firmly and it is chopped. And now in hard cataracts it is better to come out at this stage, inject visco and decrease the exposed part of the tip. We don't need that much exposure for emulsification. So decrease the exposed part of the teeth and now go in and start emulsifying the nuclear fragments. If the exposed part is more, there is a higher chance of posterior capsular rent. So we have to be very cautious when we are using a, a large exposed part. And now this heminucleus is being managed. The nucleus has is already there are three small pieces and I am emulsifying this fragment, emulsifying the nuclear pieces. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Faro's from Ortley, Switzerland. The machine has a complete three port vitrectomy system with endo illumination and all other facilities. So it's a great instrument to do FECO. We can manage posterior capsular rains and nucleus drops if it occurs very nicely. And now this during the emulsification of the last piece I have gone to FECO 3 where the energy is 60 percent, vacuum is only 100 and flow rate is only 25. And very slowly remaining at the center at the iris plane I am emulsifying this last nuclear piece. And the chopper has been placed in such a way that if the posterior capsule comes forward, it will be protected by the angle of the bend. And now this is a large nuclear piece. I'm trying to push it and it is done, emulsified. That's it. So we have nicely managed the nucleus and now the epinucleus. Epinucleus also has come out, little bit of cortex is there and now I'm using a 23 gauge Simcoe cannula to remove the cortex. There is very little cortex in this case and actually there is no cortex from 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And this is the cortex, subincisional cortex. In this case, I could remove the subincisional cortex remaining at the main incision. And it is done. And now, visco is injected and a single piece monofocal 
intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. And now the lens is dialed so that the haptics are about 90 degree away from the main wound. And now we have to remove the visco very nicely. I use Simco cannula first and then bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of this visco. Uh, now let me tell you the beauty of submarine chop. In submarine chop the ultrasonic energy is delivered inside the nucleus during chopping. So the endothelium is nicely protected. That is why the cornea remains clear next day. Though we are using only HPMC and not chondroitin sulfate. But HPMC should be used twice at least after chopping the fragments come out inject some more visco and then emulsify the nuclear pieces for chopping the exposed part of the fecal needle can be a little more but for emulsification of the pieces the exposed part should be as usual Now, let us come back to this stiff. We are removing the visco very nicely. We have used Simco as well as bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of this viscoelastic substance. And now this is a little bit of moxifloxacin. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab wound. Once this is done, a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done with BSS and this final lavage reduces the incidence of dust. This is my speculation and now this is how we do the final lavage care must be taken not to come close to the cornea we must be at iris plane all the time and now we come to the main wound form the antechamber very nicely and conclude the case Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Please try submarine job in hard cataracts. Try in some softer cataracts. First, softer means grade 3 or grade 3 plus cataracts first. And then you can try this in hard cataracts.